business. And Kenya is well on track to becoming an upper middle income country according to the World Bank. Now, the World Bank's Kenya Partnership Framework Report uh, is what cites this, and it was launched earlier today. The framework will guide the country's medium-term development from 2023 to 2028 and has prioritized areas such as boosting productivity, reducing high inequality in key socioeconomic areas such as education, health, and employment. Patrick Igunza tells us more. It was in 2014 when Kenya attained a lower middle income status following a rebasing exercise. The following year, the World Bank confirmed that status also after recalculating the size of Kenya's economy. And now the Bretton Woods institutions are confident that Kenya will soon become an upper middle income country thanks to the resilience of the economy, infrastructure development and high human capital that ranks third in Africa. Yes, uh, we are convinced. Uh, as I said, Kenya's done many of the right things in recent years. There's been uh, overall prudent uh, macro fiscal management of the economy as a whole. Additionally, for Kenyans to fully enjoy the dividends of this kind of status, a number of issues must be tamed, if not completely done away with. They include corruption and inequality. When you have large learning disparities between counties or populations, when women's wages are 30% lower than men's, when half of Kenyans don't have access to basic sanitation, this obviously limits the potential for those who are on the disadvantaged end of that to to, to uh, realize their full potential, which means the country is not realizing its full potential. Over the last 10 years, Kenya's economy has outperformed that of her peers in the low and middle income status category. But according to the bank, there's room for an improved growth trajectory given the 5.4% economic growth projection for the country over the next two years. The bank has subsequently committed to support Kenya achieve her green, resilient and inclusive development through a six-year period to 2028 under the country partnership framework. Now is the time to accelerate our work and this Kenya country partnership framework will help to guide us as we work together to deliver a more resilient an inclusive future for the people of Kenya. We endeavor to jointly address implementation challenges to ensure speedy utilization and absorption capacity of resources to, der to derive the most important measurable outcomes that we have been looking for and anticipate to get. Since 2019, the World Bank has cumulatively extended an estimated 399 billion shillings worth of development support to Kenya. In the current fiscal year, Kenya has received 92 billion shillings for the same. It's an entirely different game. The country has to make far better use of its resources, become more productive, become more resilient to shocks, and become more inclusive. This latest partnership will augment Kenya's development agenda through faster and more equitable labor productivity and income growth, greater equity in service delivery, and resilience and sustainability of the country's natural capital. Patrick Igunza, Citizen TV.